Good afternoon, I'm Charlie Tinker. I'm Juliette Dragas. PFOS, chemicals that poison our ground and water, can have a lasting impact on a person's health. They have been linked to cancer and other health problems. Last week, a new government study revealed nearly half of all U.S. fossils contain the forever chemicals. In Grand Rapids, the city is taking steps uh, to curb that risk. 13 on your size, Josh Albertus. Uh, joining us now to tell us about a new piece of equipment they're using to do just that. Josh, how does it work? Well, through a new technology based in heat and pressure, these companies say this technology effectively destroys PFAS in water, including here in Grand Rapids. With how long they can stay in the ground and the water, PFAS chemicals are often referred to as forever chemicals. But forever may not be as long now, with the introduction of a new technology aimed at destroying PFAS. This is really a story of American innovation in action. The PFAS Annihilator, created by Battelle and Revive Environmental, the company says can break down virtually all PFAS in water and destroy it to the point it's non-detectable. This includes more than 160,000 gallons of contaminated fluids per day at a wastewater treatment facility in Grand Rapids. And because of the heat and energy, it breaks down the carbon fluorine bond, which means PFAS as a chemical is forever because of that strong bond. It breaks it down very, very quickly and in a controlled environment. Co-chairing the Great Lakes PFAS Action Network, Sandy Winstelt was forced to become an environmental activist after discovering her water was contaminated. She said the PFAS annihilator gives her hope, but after all she's seen, that optimism comes with caution. If this is a situation that works, I will be overjoyed. I think there's also though, the flip side is a little bit of um, concern and, and skepticism. The CEO of the company that owns the treatment plant in Grand Rapids said, however, they're confident that after months of testing and regulatory scrutiny, their solution is ready to work. It's a proven technology. We've, we've proven it with, with analysis. We've proven it with high volume locations and high volumes of water rolling into our facility in Grand Rapids. So I'm hopeful that we find a solution and I think we will. I can't tell you how many different companies contact me periodically to let me know the latest, greatest thing that they've come up with to destroy this. And I'm hopeful for every one of them. I want every one of them or any one of them to work. I, I'm not a scientist. I shouldn't have to be a scientist to drink my own water. And Revive Environmental says it plans to add many more annihilator units to its stock in 2024. In the newsroom, Josh Albertus, 13 on your side.